we found that the Trump administration uh, extended the TPS uh, for 18 months and it's basically terminating it. We are really disappointed because when we look at uh, the conditions of Haiti, the conditions of the ground, we know that Haiti is a textbook case for temporary protected status. Temporary protected status is designed to help make sure that people who have needed to flee devastated countries that can't sustain life um, and that would be a, that would suffer from horrific conditions as they have been in Haiti are able to take refuge in the U.S. and they end the program when there has been sufficient progress made and conditions have improved significantly. Nothing could be further from the truth when it comes to Haiti. We are quite disappointed. However, uh, we're not going to give up. We have 18 months to really uh, uh, continue fighting, continue organizing on the ground, organizing statewide and nationally, uh, and pressure members of Congress on both sides of the aisle to pass a bill, to pass a law that will uh, find a permanent solution for these TPS recipients. I mean, an earthquake and at least three major hurricanes means that there are still tent cities everywhere in Haiti. You have a, a dysfunctional government that has never been able to get uh, organized. These families, they are, uh, they've been living in this com community for many years, from 8 to 30 years. They have deep roots in our community. They are, they are our teachers, they are our, our uh, nurses, they are our organizers, they are involved in every uh, aspect of uh, life in the U.S. Uh, they deserve to be able to stay, they, deser they deserve uh, permanent residency with a path to citizenship. We have almost 60,000 Haitians here who left Haiti after the earthquake and 25% of them own businesses. You have 27,000 children who are now U.S. born, who have been born to Haitians who have TPS. It's inhumane, it's unconscionable, and Congress really must act 